Hey guys, I'm a certified Suzuki violin teacher, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing if you can learn the violin purely by ear. Now, the answer is a resounding yes, but I want to walk you through some advantages and disadvantages to learning this way. Let's get started. One of the reasons in the Suzuki method that we focus so much on listening, especially at the beginning, is because if you're only focused on listening to the music and learning that way, you have much more capacity to focus on your fingering, your bow hold, your posture. All of those things are so important when you're very first starting out learning the violin. So not having to worry about looking at the notes, reading the music all the, at the same time as where your fingers are supposed to go and your bow and everything, it's a lot. So listening and learning the violin by ear is really really helpful especially at the beginning so that you can focus on the basics so that your brain doesn't get overwhelmed with so many things it has to process now with that being said in my studio and with my students i've seen how this can really help the students especially as we're learning the first few songs most of the songs you learn as a beginner are quite short and so it is easy to learn them by ear. You you have a pattern, there's usually A, B, A, or A, B, C, B, A, and the songs are generally pretty straightforward and easier to learn by ear. The problem is the further along you get into the book or as your, uh, as your playing abilities get better and you get more advanced, it becomes harder and harder to remember all the notes to a song and to remember all the little things and parts of a song that are conveyed through reading the music. And so if you're going to learn the violin by ear, I would say 100% go for it. You can definitely learn the violin by ear. However, there is a stipulation that you may want to commit to reading and learning how to read music at some point in order to progress Further, in order to push yourself a little further than you would be able to go if you were to just learn by ear. Now, there's another part of this that is to say, if you're really good at listening by ear and that just comes really naturally to you, that's awesome. And I've had some students that that is so easy for them and they just listen to me play it and then they're able to play it and that's great. But like I said, as we move into more advanced music, it's hard to keep that going and so it can slow your progress a little bit if you're having to repeat it so many times and you're not quite getting it and you're not able to reference the music it can get a little more challenging so with that being said you are going to have to put in some effort and time into learning to read the music but that time and effort you put in early and in a more concentrated fashion as you get more comfortable with reading the music, it's going to pay off huge dividends in the future because you'll be much more capable to read music and play it quickly. Um, and you'll have really great skills with being able to listen to it and play it. And then also mesh that together with your ability to read it and play it. And you'll be an amazing violinist for, for being able to do both. That was a lot of information, all to say that 100% you can learn the violin by ear, but at some point if you want to progress and keep going and become the very best violinist you can, then I would definitely recommend instituting some sort of music reading uh, plan um, to help you progress as far as you possibly can. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.